Hi, welcome back to my channel and for today's video, we will answer some problems regarding limits and continuity of functions, part 1. Okay, so let's start now. So the instruction said that let GI be a group in this cl calculus class for I from 1 to 10. So your S, and S sub M and S sub F be subgroups of GI representing subgroups of biologically male and biologically female. So ang sinasabi dito is you have a group GI. So let's say this is your group G. And then... You have subgroups here. So this this G here is completely subdivided by SM and SF. Of course, your SM and your SF are mutually disjoint. Kasi syempre, wala, um, no one can bear two biological identity at the same time in this category. So ang mangyayari, it's either SM or SF siya na belong. And then sabi dito, if GI contains SM and SF such that the cardinality of SM is greater than SF, then GI has to answer 2K plus 1 for some K from 0 to 1. And if, e if ever naman SM, the cardinality of this is less than SF, then GI has to answer questions 2K for some K from 1 to 2. So basically... Ang instruction lang is just for you to identify what type of questions you will be getting for, for the, the this exam. So basically, let's say for example, we have names like Jean, Sean, Arnold, Clyde. Okay, so big sabihin, these are elements of your G or GI. So you will be subdividing this G into categories S sub M and S sub F. If you notice, Jean here is an element of SF. Kasi babae siya eh. This one, these three guys, however, are SM. Kasi mga lalaki sila. This means to say that the cardinality of your SM is mas malaki sa cardinality kay SF. Ang pipiliin mo is yung tanong na 2K plus 1 for some K from 0 to 1. So when K is 0, ang mangyayari, you have 2 of 0 plus 1. So... 1. So you have to choose question 1. When k is 1, ang mangyayari, this is 2, 1, plus 1, so you get 3. So you have to answer 1 and 3. So sir, what happened when the the keys is uh, sf is greater than sm, yung cardinality nila? So let's say, for example, so let's say, for example, we consider names like Jean, Anna, Arnold. These three are elements of sf. And then this guy is an element of SM. Your SF cardinality niya is greater than the cardinality of SF. So in this case, according to the instruction, if that happens so, then you have to answer 2K for some K from 1 to, to 2. So ibig sabihin, 2K ang sasagutin mo. So when K is 1, K is 2. When K is 2, 2K becomes 4. So you have to answer question 2 and question 4. So sir, what happens when the case is like this? Jessa, Jean, John, and Mike. Okay. So ibig sabihin, SM, yung cardinality niya is equal to the cardinality of SF. So when this condition happens, ang sinasabi lang dito, dito that the group has to answer questions 3K plus 1 for some K from 0 to 1. So ibig sabihin, when k is 0, so 3k plus 1 is just the same as 1. When k is 1, 3k plus 1 is actually 4. So therefore, you, they have to answer 1 and 4. So the question here is, let phi and this psych, I think, be functions of x. So if both functions have their limit as x approaches x sub 0, say alpha 1 and alpha 2, then... Does the limit of the sum of two functions exist? Why or why not? Okay, so let's say, now let's formally prove this one. Okay, so let's solve this one here. If the limit of v of x as x approaches x sub 0 is equal to alpha 1, then, okay, alam naman natin to sa ano, eh, formal definition ng limit. 
then for every epsilon greater than zero, there exists delta one greater than zero such that this becomes uh, zero less than x minus x sub zero less than delta one. Whenever I have p of x minus the alpha one is less than epsilon in terms of epsilon so eh, i'll leave that as blank muna okay another is sabi dito ang psych naman so if the limit of this as x approaches x sub zero is alpha two then same pa rin for every epsilon greater than zero there exists a delta two greater than zero such that Yung 0 is less than x minus x sub 0, yung absolute value, less than delta 2. Whenever the this one minus alpha 2 is less than something in terms of epsilon. We actually don't know. We, we, we will make an adjustment later. Okay, so kung napapansin nyo guys, uh, there are two deltas. This one, the delta 1 and the delta 2. By virtue of the definition of the uh, limit in terms of epsilon delta term, we want to make sure that the delta we're using is the smallest as possible. So in this case, dahil may dalawa naman tayong delta, we have to take the, the one that is the smallest. So instead of using delta 1 and delta 2, I'll take the minimum of either the two. So whatever would be the smallest, the smaller between delta 1 and delta 2, I'll take that as a de delta. Then for every epsilon greater than 0, ang mangyayari, I'll have f of x. Ang mangyayari, I'll have the p of x plus this one. Okay, I'll see if what happens in if, if I combine alpha 1 and alpha 2. So I have alpha 1 plus alpha 2. Now observe that I can just regroup them. So I have p of x minus the alpha 1 I have the psych of x minus the alpha 2. Okay, di ba sa general math natin na itinuro at natin at sa senior high school? I'm not so sure if senior high school to. But uh, yeah, I guess general math na. If you have the absolute value of a plus b, that's always less than or equal to the absolute value of a plus the absolute value of b. That That is always true. So in that case, Iisipin mo lang na this is the A, this is also the B, so I can separate them. So, mangyayari this is less than or equal to the this one minus alpha 1 plus this one minus alpha 2. So, kung titingnan mo, yung goal mo talaga is just for this to be less than epsilon. So, may idea na tayo that itong mga blank space na ito, I can just use epsilon over 2, epsilon over 2, so that this will be less than epsilon over 2. This will be less than epsilon over 2 as well. And so therefore, the answer is epsilon. So ibig sabihin, this guy here is actually less than the epsilon, which makes the statement that eto pala is the limit of the sum of this. You might be wondering bakit epsilon over 2. Yung goal lang natin, guys, is that we want to have the ending less than epsilon. Because although epsilon is arbitrary, you can just use any any value in the in, ter, um, in terms of the expression with epsilon. Pero we want to make it more sophisticated. So dapat yung ending is less than epsilon. Pero sige, kung ayaw mo ng epsilon over two, you can just use three epsilon over. Uh, I'm sorry, uh, three epsilon over four kunyari, and then the other is epsilon over four, so that the sum of these will be just epsilon. So, because this is less than epsilon, it means, therefore, the limit of this one plus this one as x approaches x sub 0 is equal to alpha 1 plus alpha 2. So, to answer the question, the limit exists. Okay, so let's have number 2. So, same pa rin, let phi and the psych be functions of x. If both functions have their limits as x approaches x sub 0, say up alpha 1 and alpha 2, then does the limit of the product of the function exist? The question here is in terms of the product. If it exists, why? If it not, if it doesn't, then why not? Pwede natin gamitin tong method na to, let's say, if the limit of phi of x as x approaches x sub 0 exists, which let's say alpha 1, and in this case, and the limit of phi of x 
as x approaches x sub 0 exists, let's say alpha 2, then we have this uh, notion. I, I'll get that the limit of p of x minus the alpha 1 as x approaches x sub 0, I can use this as the limit of v of x as x approaches x sub 0, which is the same as minus the limit of alpha 1 as x approaches x sub 0. Alam naman kasi natin that this one here, alam natin that this is alpha 1, di ba? Yung limit, in na natin. So this is alpha 1. And then alam natin that the limit of a constant is always constant. So therefore, the answer here is 0. Okay, similarly, the limit of psych of x minus alpha 2 as x approaches x sub 0. This is the same as the limit of psych of x as x approaches x sub 0 minus the limit of psych of x. I'm sorry, alpha 2 rather. As x approaches x sub 0. So this is alpha 2, alpha 2. So the answer here is 0. Okay, ganyan. So, this case, dito na natin papasukin yung epsilon. So, let epsilon be greater than 0. Then, there exists delta 1 greater than 0 such that, okay, let's uh, use this one. Yung una is the P of X minus the alpha 1. And ito, ima minus ko ng 0. And I'll have to be this less than in terms of epsilon. So, ni pa natin alam. Whenever I'll have 0 less than x minus x sub 0 less than delta 1. Di isabay ko na lang dito yung delta 2 and delta 2 greater than 0 such that. So, ang mangyayari dito, I also have psych of x minus alpha 2 minus 0 less than something we do not know yet but in terms of epsilon. Whenever 0 is less than x minus x sub 0, less than delta 2. So, meron akong expression na ganyan. So, again, we have two expressions of delta. With delta 1, delta 2. And by virtue of the definition, we only have to take the minimum. So, take, take delta to be the minimum. Delta 1 and, and delta 2. So, if um, your, your x minus x sub 0 is positively greater than 0, but less than delta, we have, anong mangyayari? So, pwede ako maganito, no? I'll just have this one. P of x minus alpha 1 times P. Oh, ah, sorry. Psych of x minus alpha 2 minus 0, which is equal to, pwede ko bang gawin to? This is the same as P of x minus alpha 1 times the absolute value of P o, psych of x minus alpha 2. Yan. So, in this case, gusto ko ma less than epsilon ito. This one, instead of writing that, pwede ko atang gawing square root of epsilon. This square root of epsilon kasi product kasi. So that the answer here is if this is less than square root of epsilon times square root of epsilon. So the answer here is epsilon. So in this case, ibig sabihin the limit of our uh, phi of x minus the alpha 1 times the psych of x minus the alpha 2 as x approaches x sub 0 is 0. Ito. Ito yung goal. Yan. Okay. So, so meron na tayong nakuhang ganito, no? Let's proceed now to taking the limit of our product. So, P of X, psych of X, as X approaches X sub 0. What is this equal to? Pwede kong gawin ganito, no? Pwede kong gawin ito by the power of um, algebraic manipulation. Dito ko na lang ilalagay. So, this is the limit as X approaches X sub 0 of this one, P of X, yan, minus the alpha 1. I also have psych of X minus the alpha 2, okay? Plus alpha 2, P of X, plus alpha 1 of psych of X minus the alpha 1, alpha 2. Okay, sir, bakit pa paano naging equal to eto, this one? Okay, I will leave that as an exercise to the listener. Algebraic manipulation lang to. Try nyo i-simplify to ang mangyayari. This is just the same. I'll give you that as an exercise. And then, because of this, ang mangyayari, guys, kayo na lang bahala mag-manipulate din, uh, you would have to end up, kasi di ba, this one, product lang to eh. Pwede mo siyang ma mas, ano eh, ma-distribute. So the answer here, alam natin that this becomes zero. 
plus the limit of the alpha 1, I'm sorry, alpha 2 rather, alpha 2 uh, phi of x as x approaches 0 plus the limit of alpha 1 of psych of x as x approaches x sub 0. Okay, this one. And then minus the limit of uh, alpha 1, alpha 2 as x approaches x sub 0. So, ang mangyayari dito, constant kasi to siya guys, no? So, that means this is alpha 2. But the limit of phi of x is alpha 1. Okay. Plus, alam natin this is alpha 1, constant kasi dyan, but the limit of psych of x is alpha 2. Okay. So, this limit of alpha 1, alpha 2, so I have minus alpha 1, alpha 2. So, pwede yung ano, makakancel lang to. So, the answer here is alpha 1, alpha 2. So, kayo nang bahala mag-conclude. The limit exists on the product and the answer is the, prod the product of the limit. So if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know. Okay, let phi and psych be functions of x. If both functions have their limit as x approaches x of 0, say alpha 1 and alpha 2, then the, does the limit of the quotient of two functions exist? Why or why not? Actually, hindi ko na siya kayang, uh, I mean, hindi ko na need na sagutin. Kasi una, walang assumption eh. Your limit of a function, so without loss of generality, guys, Let's say, ang tinatanong dito is, kasi limit of a quotient, so let's say yung numerator ito. Ito yung denominator. As x approaches x sub 0. Or the other way around, balik tarin mo lang. Sabi kasi niya, does the limit of the quotient of two functions exist? This does not exist provided that uh, in the event that your phi of x is 0 and your alpha 2 is 0. That's it. So you just have to argue na lang that this will not exist if in the event na Ganyan. Pero if in the assumption, the phi of x is not 0 or the alpha 2 is not 0, then then um, the limit exists. I have a separate video for explaining that existence of the limit provided those conditions are given. Okay, that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching. So if you have any questions or clarification, please let me know so that we can discuss on that. And for those who are new to here, please click and subscribe so that you'll be updated on a lot of videos that I'll be uploading soon. Thank you.